what's going on big a coming at you with another video and uh i think i'm going to talk about the uh invincible trailer for amazon prime video so i came across the invincible comic book back in the day when it first came out i think there was like two issues out when i went to the comic book store and saw it there and i considered getting it and uh me being an idiot at the time um i kind of flicked through it and went you know what it reminds me a bit too much of superman and um, so i think i'm just gonna put this back on the shelf and not buy it and then to my surprise you know the comic ends up being quite popular within certain circles and then years later i end up getting like i think two or three of the volumes which i ended up checking out really liked and i was going to continue to get more volumes and then again being an idiot I didn't continue getting volumes for it. Um, the last issue of Invincible that I got was one where Mark was away on another planet or something like that. And he had a friend fill in for him for a little while who wasn't A, wasn't the same race as him and B, well, uh, would look completely different to him. So he would do things, he had similar powers, but he'd do things from afar. So nobody could tell it wasn't actually Mark, aka Invincible, actually doing what, whatever superhero heroics it actually was um but yeah and then fast forward even more years and then amazon have done an animated series on it um which i'm looking forward to seeing um I'm, if i'm being honest like certain parts of the trailer like i recognized from the first few volumes and the point that i got up to was when there was like a big reveal so i didn't get beyond that point uh unfortunately but I, I am interested to see as to how that does play out and maybe this will actually force me to uh, well get the compendiums because the compendiums are out but they're quite they're quite pricey um i think if you can get them for the right price then then yeah it definitely would be worth it but no yeah invincible is definitely worth checking out apparently the character of mark grayson first appeared in tech jacket which i've got i think six issues of but i can't remember if it just appeared in the back as a side story or as to whether his character was actually in tech jacket I, I literally can't remember and i've got those comics somewhere as well actually do i have them here no i don't they're in storage so i probably won't find out for a long time as to how mark grayson first appeared in tech jacket but um but yeah no i like i like young justice for example I, although you wouldn't really call that adult i think since like season three making its way onto uh well, the DC Universe, but I think it's going to be on uh, HBO Max now. It's There's a lot kind of like going for more adult-oriented animation. And I think uh, Invincible can hold the torch for that, raise the flag for it, and like just head out running as well. So you've got Steven Yeun uh, voicing Mark. And then you've got um, J.K. Simmons voicing his dad, Omni-Man. I think his character's name is called, or his superhero name anyway. So, yeah, I think he's got a pretty good cast, a pretty good voice cast. Um, you may remember J.K. Simmons also voiced uh, Tenzin in The Legend of Korra. And I thought he did a great performance in that. And also, I've got a soft spot for him ever since uh, he was in the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies. Uh, and Whiplash as well. He was wicked in Whiplash. So I just like hearing the guy's voice because I can... I notice that gravelly tones anywhere, anywhere that they are. I always like, that's J.K. Simmons, I know. But yeah, no, I think it's going to be dope. Um, Looks quite violent, which is always good. Great action. Some jokes in there as well. So I think it's got a good mix, man, because there's not, there's not anything like that on at the moment. I can't think of anything like that other than, I guess you could say The Boys, but The Boys is more of a parody, whereas I think this is less of a parody but i remember there being some uh some good jokes in there as well and they like mess around with like character archetypes and stuff like that like there's characters that are clearly influenced from you know there's a character i remember he's kind of like green lantern but he has to eat this like weird thing in order to then create constructs and stuff like that so they're all kind of like recognizable and stuff like that and you'll all know as to Oh, that character is based on that. That character is based on this. But nah, I think it's going to be a pretty good show. I think it starts on March, uh, in March on Amazon, um, March the twenty sixth. I think is the date. Um, and yeah, I'm just I'm just looking forward to seeing it, man. It's it's good to have something to look forward to, something new. Um, do I think uh, Amazon has like cornered the market on violent superhero stuff? 
No, not really. I think there's always a chance, especially with Netflix adapting the Mark Miller stuff, um, that, you know, Netflix could end up having some kind of like dark superhero stuff as well. Um, it'd be interesting to see if Marvel can really do that because they did kind of push boundaries with, you know, the likes of Jessica Jones, Luke Cage uh, and Daredevil. And I would like to see Moon Knight be kind of like quite brutal. Um, I wouldn't mind if it wasn't like family oriented just because I like the fact that Marvel has variety. They have some stuff which is totally cool for the family and then to have some stuff that isn't. I think it works in their favor to have that variety there. Um, so if you've seen the Invincible trailer, let me know as to what you think of it, um, whether you think it's going to be any good, whether you like the animation style, the voice cast, uh, as to whether you know this, where the story's going to go, um, and as to whether you think it could make for a good uh, animated series, a few good seasons of that. Uh, leave your comments down below, do all the things, and as always, I'll catch you on the next one.